Today, in 2023, is the Canon 90D still a good camera right now? Well, it depends. I'm gonna tell you after the intro. What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to your new video. What do I talk about today? I'm gonna talk about cameras. Well, but let me start from the beginning. The other day I went to the park with my wife, my son and my daughter. That's my family. And I very casually shot some photos using only one lens. The Canon EF 135mm f2. It's this one. And of course, the first camera I used, because I'm used to it, I do it like automatically, was the Canon R6. And these are some of the photos I shot. But then I used also another camera. What camera? The Canon 90D. And I've been shooting more photos. And the first difference from using the Canon R6 when using the Canon 90D is the distance. What do I mean? Well, when I was using the Canon R6 with the 135mm to shoot portraits, it was something like 8 10 feet away from the subject, my wife and my son, and that was fine. When I switched to the Canon 90D, I didn't move from the spot where I was, and that's the difference. Why? Well, that's easy. It's because the Canon R6 is a full frame sensor camera. So, what we see 135 millimeters is 135 millimeters. When we use the same lens on a crop sensor camera, that'd be the Canon 90D, the field of view is multiplied times 1.6. So, that would not be a 135 millimeters anymore, but rather a 216. So, it goes without saying, I have to move farther away from the subject. And this is what I got. Alright, so let me know what you think about it, leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things, my gear. And check the link to Epidemic Sound if you want one month of awesome music and great sound effects, one month for free. And also, I wanted to let you know I'm available for classes and tutoring and mentoring. If you're interested, just get in touch. Anyways, considering that I see myself, that I actually am, a Canon R6 user first, that's my main camera. I use the R6 basically all the time. So this time, shooting photos with the Canon 90D, that's something I haven't done in a long time, I guess, I realized how good it is. And we're not talking just about sharpness, but the dynamic range. It was really sunny and there was so much light and I didn't want to exaggerate with the shutter speed. So most of the photos are kind of like overexposed, but it doesn't matter how overexposed they were. Of course, not too much anyways, but I was able to recover everything in post. And I'm pretty happy. Not surprised, because I already knew the Canon 90D is a great camera for photos, also for video, but for photos even more. And why? I know I've been making videos about the 90D and its specs for video mostly, because I'm a video maker first and then a photographer. But when it comes to videos, yes, the Canon D is a great camera. You can shoot in 4K with no additional crop. Its quality is amazing. Its dynamic range is decent, if not 
not really good but still in 2023 we're missing something like for example for work I often need 60 frames per second in 4k or 120 frames per second with the auto focus at least and with the 90D we don't have that but for what concerns photos well man the Canon 90D still rocks so in 2023 who should buy the canon 90d it depends because as i mentioned for video is really good but it depends what you need if you don't even care about video if you just need it for stills just go for it because it's such an amazing camera for photos and you can get incredible results and paired with the 135 millimeters you can shoot amazing portraits I think I don't have anything else to say. All right, now I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, yeah.